Good morning. So we are heading for breakfast right now. We're gonna go to a waffle place. Ka Kathy's Waffles. Yeah, so we're gonna show you what that's supposed like. Supposed to be good. And then, uh, yeah, last night we just kind of hung out for the evening, went to bed early, because we're gonna do the boat tour on the lake that goes around to all the islands. So we're gonna show you that today and whatever else we end up doing after that. So, gross. Or no, something in the Yeah, it's chewing all the food out. So the nice thing about staying uh, in close to downtown Granada is everything's walking distance. There's little markets and bakeries and cafes and stuff like that close by. It's only like a few blocks to get to the main park area. And it's relatively flat, so it's a pretty easy walk other than the holes in the ground. And <laughs> it's like the little uh, water meter plastic things break, so you gotta watch your ankles. having breakfast at Kathy's Waffle House. And uh, for the four of us, our bill came to 1,400 Cordobas, which is about $41 US. And uh, yeah, they were big plates of food. It was really good food as well. Even subways are uh, colonial in the city of Granada. I think this is a school or a college. So we are doing this tour with Leo Tours uh, in Granada. We'll have the link in the description below. So they just picked us up at our Airbnb and now we're gonna head out onto the lake in a boat. You excited? Yep. What do you think we're gonna see? Um, there's, a, there's a monkey island, you think maybe a monkey? Maybe. Hey, what do you think, Mikai? Excited? Yeah. It'd be cool to see something new, hey? So yeah, let's go. Manuel on the propeller. <laughs> And then Dino's our tour guide. I'm like right on top of you, your knees are... Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hola. Welcome Hola. to Hola. <laughs> here because this is a uh, very typical people who so are living, uh, living on the island. The net, for example, oh, yeah. ending on the ranch because all those families there, they fish. When they back here and they bring this, the fish is still living, 
they put inside the net and like this keep it alive. Keep it every alive, morning, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, every morning they pick up the fish and can go and sell on the market, and can sell on a restaurant. What kind of fish? They is looking for rainbow bass, which is the most expensive. This island here is for sale if anybody's looking. There's uh, some pillars in there that are set up already. It's kind of cool to have your own little island. Yeah. Part of the building there. Yeah. Open all the pillars. Yeah, it's, it looks like a kitchen. Yeah. How much do the, how much do the real estate companies sell an island for? Back for a whole island. And look at the flat this one. Yeah. The size of the island is one square. This island here is 500,000 US if anybody's looking. Take the city, Granada, over there, by Paris. When Granada was found in 1524 by Francisco Hernández de Córdoba, the mission, the main mission of, of Córdoba was looking for the connection with this lake to the ocean, the Caribbean Ocean. John David from Jamaica crossed the river, the lake, and looked for Granada. Gallardito, John David, William Dampier, and more pirates came here to take the city. So Granada was born like uh, four different times. Yeah. And the pirate, uh, sorry, and the Spaniard built, need to build fortress like this because they want to protect the city in another time by, pirate, by this pirate. During 200 years or more than 200 years, pirates came here to Nicaragua. If you go to the Caribbean side of Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, and Belize, you're gonna find people speaking English by pirates when the pirates come here. So that is the history of San Paulo fortress on the Granada Islands. So this uh, 
rock behind me is actually volcanic rock. And he was saying it was either flown here from an explosion or from a landslide that happened uh, quite a few years ago. The volcano is 14 to 15 kilometers if you were to go a straight line to the volcano. So it just shows the magnitude of the power in a volcano. So you get all the way to the island here. That's how all these islands and peninsula was formed was when that uh, landslide happened. It created all this uh, landmass on the lake. So it's pretty cool. And there's people living on these islands, like that one that we showed you that's for sale. And then there's like a, that really nice one that I just showed you as well. And uh, yeah, there's houses behind us here too. So you can actually buy and own an island on the lake here. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll have to do a lake casa instead of sea casa. Can I do a Nicaraguan tour of the Antonia? So this is one of the restaurants. Uh, we're just stopping here to look at it and see what the menu is like. It's Restaurante El Pirata. And it's pretty cool. They, uh, they have a swimming pool right at the restaurant. It's right on the edge of the lake. So yeah, I don't know if we're gonna eat here. We're gonna go check out the other one first and then we'll decide. But I thought I'd film here and show you what it's like. Yeah. Having a candy. Can we get closer to the tree? Huh? Yeah, over a sucker. And this guy's coming right out for us. He wants his banana. Oh, no. He sees the banana. Oh, he sees the banana. Can we get closer?
just found some garbage in the lake and he's stopping to take the garbage out, which is cool. That is cool. Yeah, they really keep their lake and their town and their city clean. Mm -hmm. Care about it, which is nice. And you need to open together. That pressure. A little by little, like banana. Like a banana? Yeah, like a banana. Slow. Oh, that's uh, nice. Yeah. Wow. So and now give. So cool. Now a kiss. Oh, oh, so cute! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is this is poponghochil flower. Yeah. Poponghochil in Nahuatl means love flower. Love flower. Yeah. That's when really the indigenous came here, they uh, look for the flower and they open together. Yeah, yeah. When the flower is happy like this, yeah, that means good adventure in your love. But sometimes the flower is sad. <laughs> Really? When it's sad, I never, I never, <laughs> I never speak about this history. You have a very, you have a very lucky one. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a happy one. All right. So we decided to come back to the pirate restaurant. Well, actually, we didn't decide the other place was closed, so we had to come back. The yeah, kids are swimming now. We're gonna have lunch. Just finished lunch and <laughs> it was 1815 Cordobas and we bought our tour guide as lunch today as well. And that was with five coronas, so again, a very inexpensive lunch. That whole fish was good. How was your chicken? Really good. Jade, how was your chicken fingers? Good. Yeah. So yeah, the front of the boat. really good lunch. Just saying hi. <laughs> how was your lunch? How was the tour? Good. Super good. Yes, Super. Yes. Super. So they actually have a cemetery island. Is it a full island that's a cemetery then? The whole island? Is, is that's cemetery. a whole island? whole island? Yeah. So the whole island's a cemetery for the local no, people. But it's only for the, all the community. The community so, of the island community or? For the island community. Oh, okay. So somebody from Granada went to camp here and rest here? No. 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 Just for the people that live in the island. Oh, okay. okay. No, okay, coconut nut for sale. Oh, yeah. This is all right, so we're all done with the tour. I just want to say a big thank you to Leo and Leo Tours here in Granada, Nicaragua. And our tour guide, Gino, it was awesome uh, to meet you. And if you guys want to book this tour, any of the other tours they offer, I'm going to have the link below in the description to their Facebook page as well as their phone number. If you're ever in Granada, definitely look them up. Uh, the tour was awesome. It was uh, informative, and I can't wait to do other tours with them the next time we come through. Uh, so now we're just going to go wander the streets. We're going to go hit up the main marketplace and see what there is to buy.
now we're in the main market area where all the little stalls are. We were here a couple years ago and it uh, hasn't changed. It's still the same. Maybe some different things, but uh, yeah, it's still lots of vendors here, lots of shopping you can do, and a lot cheaper than Costa Rica. So it's cool to check it out. So now we're just on the walk-in street where all the restaurants are and we're just sitting having a couple drinks. We're gonna have some dinner down here. But yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. The walk-in street's just down from the main church, uh, the yellow one. No cars are driving down here, so it's nice just to be able to walk and uh, not have to dodge the traffic. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Ciao.